and welcome to High School Physics Explained and today I'm going to teach you how to solve problems using the RUDE acronym. So no, I'm not asking you to be rude in your classroom, but uh, help you become familiar with a, a tool that will help you solve problems that involve numbers and equations in a systematic and logical way. So what does RUDE stand for? Well, the R stands for read. Read the question. Don't skim over it. Look at the key terms. Look at the values that are given. Make sure you understand everything it's asking you. Understand. Well, I just did say understand. But the point is, is that if you understand it, can you visualize it? Can you understand the, the terms that are provided, whether it's force, acceleration, and so forth? If you don't understand it, read the question again. Don't move on to the next step until you've understood it. Thirdly, if you can understand it, it may be helpful to draw a diagram to show that you understand it and have it labeled as well. In other words, don't just write down a picture of the car and so forth, but also write down any data that you are given. And when I say write down data, also write down the data in sequential form underneath the particular diagram that you might have. And finally, write down the equation that you have either given on a formula sheet or the one that you have been asked to remember. So let's see this in application. So I have a question here, and this question is a linear motion problem that you probably are familiar with if you've spent any time studying physics. A car accelerates at four meters per second per second from rest to 28 meters per second. Calculate how long it takes. Okay, so we're talking about time, we're talking about calculation things, car is accelerating, okay. So we've read it. So that's okay, we understand it, and well, we think we do, so let's draw a diagram. So here's my lovely red car sitting on the road, and you see I have labeled all the things that I know and the thing that I am asked to find. And then I actually literally write down the data. Now I make it a habit to tell my students, write down all the five possible variables, at least those found in motion equations in high school, that you may or may have in your question. So I always get them to write down all five, V, U, A, R, and T. Now, as we then go through the question, I ask them to fill that information out. And the first thing we're given, of course, is the acceleration at four meters per second squared. U, the initial velocity. Well, it says it's from rest, so that's zero meters per second. The final velocity, of course, is given is 28 meters per second. And we're asked to find how long it takes, so that's the time, and I put a question mark next to it. I therefore leave R blank because R is the displacement and I'm not asked for it in this question, nor am I provided it. So what equation has those four variables, of which, of course, only one is unknown? And in fact, all your equations of motion usually have four variables, any combination of these five given here, where one of them is unknown. Well, in this case, it's V equals U plus AT. And then, of course, once you've written down the equation, you can now substitute it. Now, the whole benefit of this root is, is that you don't need to look at the question again. You're just referring to the list of data on the left-hand side. So it's pretty easy to substitute everything in and therefore resolve it and get the answer of seven seconds. So that's root. Read the question, understand it, draw a diagram if necessary, but certainly write down the data, write down the equation that you think you need, and then substitute everything in to solve it. I hope that helps you. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. I hope you found that video useful. And remember, like, share, and subscribe. Oh, and if you have a comment or a question, or you'd like a concept for me to explain to you, please drop a comment down below. I'm Paul from High School Physics Explained. Bye for now.